Welcome back to Grizz Vision with head coach Pete Hovland. Coach, today your women's squad was able to defeat Youngstown State 180 to 112. Can you recap the match for us? Yeah, it um, it was a good day. We knew coming in that um, that we'd have an opportunity to move some people around, swim some different events. Um, Youngstown's going through a change. New coaching staff, both for diving and, and swimming, so they're 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 going through a little bit of a change right now and. Uh, um, but uh, they've got good leadership and, and a good coach in place, so I'm sure we'll expect uh, big things down the road. But, uh, um, you know, it's, it's tough traveling on the road and, and, and uh, coming in here to our place. And, and, but, uh, again, it was, it was one of those things, an opportunity for us to swim a back-to-back -to, -back, uh, to try to simulate the conference championship a little bit and to try to get used to that. We swam a couple of different events and a relay that we don't get to normally swim during the course of the year. So... Our 400 IMers and our sprinters had a chance to to, to swim there towards the end and and, and get a little bit more experience. Um, so all in all, it was it was a good day. It's been a good weekend for the women. Good night last night for the men. Um, so we're about where we expect to be. We're still pretty beat up. We're still a little tired. We've got some people nursing some injuries and and some illness right now. But tis the season. It's it's everybody's experiencing that. But uh, uh, I was looking for effort and attitude. We've talked about that all year and you know, uh, bringing some passion and, and, and being good teammates today. And I think we saw that and I think that's, that, that's good and it bodes well for us for the future because we're going to have to have that come February.